I'm here with uh, Rick and Carmen, uh, part of Pharma Cadence, which is a CRO in the Philadelphia area. And actually, we are in their brand new facility. Um, so maybe just to kind of kick things off, Rick, maybe, or Carmen, you can give us a brief history, a, a timeline of, of the company Pharma Cadence. Sure. Um, we were both in Big Pharma, and while we were there, we know we made significant contributions to the programs that company was working on, but in setting up our own business, it gives us access to so much more science across the industry. We can work with so many more people, so many more interesting projects that we get to do. Um, Pharma Cadence seemed like the way to go about doing that. Excellent. So when did when did Pharma Cadence get started? And we started officially in the summer of 2008. Um, it was it was me and a uh, computer <laughs> to get started. Oh, good, excellent. And so now, uh, 2015, I think this is your first full week in the brand new facility. That's and great. maybe uh, maybe you can give me a bit of a, a tour. It's, uh, it's great that you've kind of like standardized on science equipment, and it looks specifically Q-Trap. Is there you know a main reason why uh, you both didn't do lab that way or? Yeah, the, the um, MRM systems are the ones that we do most of our work with. We do mostly quantitative analysis. That QTRAP gives us tremendous flexibility in terms of both speed, dynamic range, and then, you know, the ability to really dig into a sample with either MRM, product IN, enhanced product IN, full scan work. We can do a lot with just this one instrument. Excellent. So maybe you can describe in a little bit of detail with the equipment that you do have. You know, what kind of services Pharma Cadence provides, you know, maybe where your expertise is, you know, maybe how you differentiate yourself from, from other CROs. Yeah, typically what we're, what we're selling ourselves as is professional analytical services. So it's not so much the traditional CRO. What we're doing is things that are new, things that are harder. Um, we like easy work, we just don't get a lot of it. We get um, a lot of the things that we're doing right now are low level, peptide protein detection, quantitative analysis of peptides, proteins, therapeutic proteins. So there's a lot of large molecule quantitative work coming through. A lot of large molecule quantitative analysis. It's probably um, just slightly more than the small molecule, but we're not getting a lot of the traditional small molecules. There are a lot of um, small molecules that are markers, uh, diagnostic, there's something that's going on biologically. Excellent. Great, well thanks Rick. Thanks, Carmen, for a, a great tour. It's nice to see the new building and uh, looking forward to seeing how you guys grow and use the entire space. Yeah.